wanted to say thank you for the tires. Um, I, I really appreciate the tires. I have four fresh tires on my car. And these will probably last me the life of the car since I drive nowhere anymore. So thank you for the tires. I am grateful. Um, I'm deciding if I want to go get ice cream or not. We just had steak, stone, and sushi. And I get the steak and chicken because I'm fat and it's delicious. And I eat it all because that's, that's like my meal for the day. I let that be lunch and dinner. And do I want dessert? Go to my other favorite place in Lockport. Oh, goodness gracious. And my stomach actually feels quinda. Quinda. It feels quinda. No, 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 no. Stacy can't talk English today. Dur, dur, dur. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, seriously. Seriously, what was I going to say? Did you hear that? I just farted. Um, excuse me. <laughs> There's a, why are you walking down the street with a mask on? You are literally around no one. Take your mask off. Lord. And they're building a new, um, um, what the hell is it called? Heck, I mean heck. It's a, a new urgent care in front of that runnings building. Why didn't they buy the old off-track bedding location and then just retrofit it? Why build a brand new building when there are empty buildings all over Lockport that you could probably use for your endeavor, for your thingy, for your urgent care? Hello, KeyBank. The drive through everybody's getting paid today because it's Friday. We're not getting paid this week. We get paid on the next week. But everybody else is at Key Bank. And uh, pretty soon I'll be working Fridays again, so I have to enjoy my time off. Um, yeah, so I'm going back to eight-hour shifts. It's, it's an emergency schedule change, so it's only for a month. And then I had to finagle my some of my time off because I still wanted to have a f couple of Fridays off next month yeah next month and so then I'll be back to eight hours again it's gonna until we do the shift bit again where I'm eight hours because I I can't I can't for ten hours anymore I just cannot get verbally abused anymore and I'm gonna talk to you about something <laughs> about my cancer I, um, my cancer is hormone driven. I'm in menopause forever. And even though I am on something to help with my mood, sometimes I just rage. And it's like I'm a monster. I cannot stop it. It is scary. I, I, and I know I'm just raging for, for no reason. Like, um, uh, last night after Bible study, I was on fire and I went home and I was just so angry and I don't understand it. And I know I'm being unreasonably angry for no reason, but I can't stop it. And I don't, I don't know why. I, I mean, I'm just going to guess it's hormonal and I think I've been this way all my life. <laughs> I think I've been this way all my life. I'm just now becoming self-aware of this. But it scares me. And sometimes I'll just get so mad and I'll want to throw something or punch a wall. I won't punch a wall because, you know, I'll break my hand or something. It, it's scary. And I really don't want to up my, my dose on my, my mood pill. Um, because I do still want to feel stuff, but it's just, it's just scary sometimes, you know, and, and I had no reason to be that angry last night, um, but I was, 
I was pretty hostile. Um, I'm going to get the ice cream just in case you're all wondering. But um, I don't know. I have a temper, and and I've been losing it on the phone with my callers. Not as not as bad as you you know you would think. I'm still a professional about it, but I'm being professionally snarky, which is still not good because that's that's not how you that's not how I'm supposed to act at work. And I mean, my job is call center work. It's it's mentally draining, but it's easy. You can. The reason I do it is because uh, it's a schedule. I like the schedules that I can get, and I can flex around. And if I need to go to an appointment, I can do that. Not a lot of jobs are that flexible. You know, it certainly isn't for the money. Uh, <laughs> but you know, that's what I. That's what I'm doing. So. Yeah, that happens at work, so I rage at work, too. And I... It's weird. It's like, a, you know, it's like the Incredible Hulk when he busts out of his pants. He used to scare me when I was a kid. But it's... I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I think it's just one of those fun little side effects that you're going to have to live with. I remember when I told my oncologist, not my current my last two oncologists when I was going to CCS Oncology and I was having hot flashes and he goes stay cool and I was like okay it's like dude so I'm feeling like if I went to the doctor and told them that my hormones are causing issues they'd be like your hormones are trying to kill you too so you gotta make a decision here so I will I will just carry on and just keep pushing through so I don't have to go back to work till Monday because I don't want to do any overtime. And um, that's really it. I'm almost at the ice cream place. Appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate the tires. Um, I'm going to have to give them a review online or something and let them know how much I appreciate what they did uh, for my stage 4 cancer butt. Um, uh, there's a line at the ice cream store. All right. Well, you guys, thanks for watching. And I hope y'all have a good time today. It's Friday. Live it up. Put on a mask and live it up. I'll see you later.